Hello everyone, and welcome to Nuclear Throne. This is one of my favorite little roguelike games right now, put out by the awesome studio Blambeer. If you get a chance to look at any of the other stuff they do, I highly recommend it. Uh, especially looking through some of their old stuff like Super Crate Box. Fantastic games all around. Uh, so let's jump into Nuclear Throne. Uh, I'm having a bit of trouble with the audio on this. This game is early access right now. So one of the things that is kind of difficult about it is that it does not like to be recorded. Uh, it changes its audio settings, it relogs every time it has an update and wipes all of your character data. It does a lot of fancy messed up technical stuff in the background. But despite that, I love this game so much that I think it is definitely worth recording and streaming for everybody. So, since I don't have any of my favorite characters unlocked right now, we're going to start with Fish. Um, and this is a roguelike game, but it's also a shooter, which is very interesting. It's a little kind of... Well, I don't even know, know how else to describe it. Uh, oh, and since I've played last, that timer in the corner is new. Which is actually very useful for streaming, so... Nope, oh, and I took a little bit of damage there. Uh, basically, I'm running around trying to pick up items and make it all the way to the nuclear throne. I'm going to swap out for that assault rifle. Much better weapon. Get those bullets first. And that should be it. Alright, we're on to the next level. Uh, I am not the best at this game, and I am much worse at it when I'm playing it windowed. Uh, these scorpions give me a ton of trouble, but I've made it pretty far, um, all the way up past the third boss. Uh, I usually die just about there, uh, but we're going to give it a try today. I think I'm going to do a full series on this, uh, maybe like Path to the Nuclear Throne or something like that. Let's see if we can get another level. Probably not, though. Machine gun, I don't want it. Screwdriver, I don't want it. I'll pick the bullets. And let's go to the next one. Okay, so one of the cool things about this game is that you get all these different level ups, but they're random each time. So melting allows, or I'm sorry, melting. That's the character in the picture. Mutate allows you to, or patience allows you to mutate later. Which is great if you don't see anything you like. You just push it to the next screen. Wonderful. Uh, Strong Spirit gives you basically an extra life. It's like a one-up. Um, Open Mind gives you extra chests, which are useful, but long-term, I don't find it as helpful as it should be. I'm going to go ahead and take extra feet, because I know that I will want that towards the end of the game. And then we're going to see our first boss coming up pretty soon here. Oh, and there he is. See if I can get him without dying here. I know I do have fish, so... Oh, and there we go. So I took him down pretty easily. Um, he can cause a lot of trouble, but in this case it was not too hard. Oops. Sorry about that, I'm playing in windowed mode, which makes it really easy to click out. And if you switch to windowed from full screen in this game, the window that it gives you is absurdly tiny. It's just crazy how small it is. Oh, let's not get hit by all of that. Take all of this. I still don't want a machine gun, but you do get extra bullets if you play as fish, so that's not a bad thing. Um, laser pistol is okay, but I want to have a wrench for the sewers. part of the thing that you realize what weapons you really want to have the longer you play the game. Um, I am prefer to have an assault rifle and some sort of weapon for the sewers that is close combat, just because the rats in the sewers can give you a lot of trouble. Um, and let's see, I am going to go for Rabbit Paw for more item drops, and it looks like I actually got another level. Um, Ugh, less enemy HP is good. 
I'm gonna go with that one. I'll make it a little easier to get past the next level boss. If I do end up making it that far. So I'm gonna switch to the wrench right off. I didn't expect to hit there, but... Uh, the thing that makes the wrench good is it's a one-hit kill on these rats. Which otherwise are quite brutal. I'm quite low, though. I seem to be a little slow on my reaction time. Drop the assault rifle in there. Alright, let's try and get this guy down before he spawns a bunch of things. Eat all of that. I would love to get a health pickup. Blow that up before it causes any more problems. Moving through here is pretty easy, but you do take a lot of damage from those rats if you're not careful. Which you just saw me do, so. Oh, and that was the last guy. Um, while I don't particularly want the shovel, it is much better than the wrench. I would have loved to pick up a better weapon in the sewers. Um, usually they're a little bit longer. Uh, I'm probably not going to make it much past here. Because there's a lot of different things that can kill you in here, including those cars which explode. And, oh, there is a health crate. Ooh, oh, oh, that was close. Let's see if I can get past. Come on. Nope. Oh, and my keyboard is stuck. Okay, that was terrifying. Okay, I don't have any ammo left, I'm gonna have to fix that, grab the HP, swing through. Alright, so this is a little terrifying with low ammo, but I'm gonna make it through regardless. I got enough bullets for my assault rifle, so let's go. Okay, some kills regenerate ammo. That seems very useful right now. Alright. Health drops are always appreciated. And I blew myself up. That's unfortunate. Well, I think that'll do it for this first episode. Um, I unlocked a bunch of the characters that I love playing through, and I will take quite a few more tries at this game. Uh, we'll probably put it out in a series... Um, I might give it its own thing. I'm probably going to keep this under the uh, Rogue Gaming group for now, but uh, we'll go ahead and make our way back towards the Nuclear Throne next time.